Ah, yes, the junkyard, or <laughs> more importantly, you should probably call it the salad yard because someone out there might be mad. It's not junk. Well, kind of is. I'm looking for a hood prop for my 82 Land Cruiser. Well, I thought about taking this one off a Toyota 100, T100, but uh, nah, that ain't going to work because it's right here. I mean, it's in better condition than the Suzuki Rodeo, but this one's longer by a little bit. I can see him. Is it a longer? No, it's not. I only use quality Toyota products, not this Isuzu stuff. But, uh, I'll take that. That's good stuff. Oh, my finger got in the way. Of course. Look at this thing. I remember when these things came out, man. These are pretty cool. Fortunately, this thing has seen better days. Way, way better days. I mean, is anybody looking for a uh, box cutter? Here's one right here. A little rusty. A little bit of evapo rust will take care of that. Hmm. Windshield wipers. I wonder if I could put them on a Land Cruiser. I don't know. Kind of doubt it. Hmm. I mean, it's only 26 years off, right? 98, if I'm doing my math correct. Yeah, sure. Look at that. I'm going to take a look at it. that thing over there. It looks pretty cool. Oh, this is an 83 Ford. It's in the import side. Ugh. Look at that. That's custom right there. How many miles are on this sucker? Oh, it's digital. Wow. For 93, that's pretty cool. Oh, my hood prop. A lot of cool stuff back here. Even needs a garden hose. Industrial. Mm, that's mint right there. What the hell is this? It's another domestic. What the hell's going on here? How dare they put a domestic domestic car in there? Is this domestic? Is this a trailblazer? What the hell is this thing? No, this is a Nissan, right? Yeah, Nissan Pathfinder. Look at that. And it was driving in around 2016. How about that? Let's see what it smells like. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, stuff. Oh, look at that. wonder what happened. blew the hell up. Ah, oh, you get this thing running in a second. I mean, that broken V-belt right there kind of uh, lends credence to the fact that this thing ain't gonna run anytime soon. Hmm. Let's move on. So if anybody's looking for a 99 Toyota Tacoma, very low miles, in really good condition you got one right here don't worry about that wiring harness that's uh wait a minute what the hell what do you going on here huh interesting yeah she's a little uh sacked out but uh, you know it is what it is man <laughs> all right let's move on now i would say let's see if we get this thing started I kind of highly doubt that this thing's gonna be running anytime soon. However, I don't know what, you, what kind of engine that is. Is that, a, is that a Cummins? I don't know. Kind of cool looking. It's been here for a hot minute. Pretty cool. Some oil in the back if anybody's looking for some. And then there's that. Ugh. Someone may have uh, either went through it one way or the other way. Who knows? But uh, apparently they were at Fort Benning, looks like. Mm. Yikes. Let's uh, 
Yikes. What a, what a mess. I don't see any blood. Really. Look at this thing. Ugh. It's like a, it's a Ford, I assume, at one point. Um, been picked clean. Hey, you know what? I actually kind of need this. I wonder if I could pull that out. Yeah. Do I need this? I'm sitting on the sun for God knows long. Or I could buy a new one. Ah, buy a new one. Ah, wildlife. All right, let's see. Hmm. It's a Saturn. Saturn view. I don't get bit by God knows what. Oh, there's this problem. Right there. Ugh. Here we go and look at Nissan. Probably won't run. Looks like it's the four cylinder with two spark plugs in each hole. It's pretty cool. That's kind of cool. I think my dad had one of these trucks before. But just a single cab, not the extra shenanigans going on right there. And uh slightly fire kissed uh looks like a Dodge Dakota. Yeah, this thing's uh uh Damn, there's this problem right there. Budweiser. If it's drinking Michael Volta, he'd probably be all right. Ooh, there's another one. Yeesh. I think this is a Dakota. Yeah, my dad had one of these. Didn't catch fire. C cool story about his Dodge Dakota. It was stolen, but it was a piece of crap. And someone stole it, and then about for about two years, you know... He didn't hear anything about it until the police one day said, hey, your car is here. Come and pick it up. Because someone stole it and didn't work anymore. And then you've got it back. Drove it for a while and then yada, yada, yada. You got rid of it. But uh, look at that. July of 2018, the sucker was. Oh, I had a nice bed liner. I did have a bed liner. Thanks. Oof. Fire damage all over the place here. Crown Vic. Oh, this sucks. Oh. Oh my god. Nah, uh, got a feel of shoe back there. Water's still in it, probably from the rain. Damn. Oh shit, that's a tundra. Oh crap. It's a four by four. And around the same year as my Tundra. <laughs> Let's see what we can find in this. Not much. Um, whatever happened in here, happened. I mean, there's a frame, but uh, that doesn't do me no good. I need a glove box thing. Nope, can't do it. The engine. Nope. <laughs> nope. This is the 5.7 V8. Just went nuclear. That freaking sucks. Damn. What a shame. Oh well. Ah, a 99 Forerunner. Yeah, not going to do me any good right there. The kudzu's already coming across it, of course. Isuzu Rodeo. Mm-hmm. Another Forerunner over here. I think this is a Forerunner as well. Seen better days there. Mm-hmm. Ah, 
another Forerunner. This is a 04. It's a V8 4.7 litro. Yeah, she's all, she's tuckered out quite literally. I wonder if these would work on a 82 Land Cruiser. Not that one. Hmm. This must have been a XLE model or something. Except it took a... Something happened here. <laughs> Who knows? This right here is animal damage. Honestly, it looks like a deer went up over the hood right into the windshield. Probably scared the crap out of the driver. Now, if anyone is looking for a Land Rover or an exhaust system, mostly a Land Rover, you got one right here. I mean, very low miles, barely used, sitting in a field. <laughs> 95 Forerunner. I would say barely used, but uh, I think you know better. Well, look, they got block seal in the back. You know what was going on with this sucker. Some sort of V6, probably like a 3.4 or something. I don't know. Yikes. And for you Jeep guys out there, there's a bunch of Jeeps out here. Grand Cherokee. I know nothing about Jeeps. But uh, there you go. There's some stuff. Watch out for fucking snakes. Okay. It's a straight six Chrysler Jeep thing. Whatever the hell it is. It says Toyota right there, but uh, take no mind. Yikes. Retrofitted to R134A. Oh, okay, cool. Caution. New oil filter thread attention warning. Good for you. I don't know. Is Chrysler trying to tell me something here? There are more Jeep Cherokees and Grand Cherokees and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, all over this place. I don't know, man. Are they trying to tell me something about the quality of said Chrysler? I don't know. Or Dodge or whatever the hell they are. Twisted signs and design. All right, cool. Holy smokes. Look at this poor bastard. <laughs> now, there's something. There's a fuel tank filled with uh, water. Nice uh, cistern if you want to use it for that. Oh, yeah. You know what I need? I need a small overflow tank for my radiator that's what I forgot to look for maybe I'll use one maybe I'll use a Jeep's <laughs> reservoir just to just to screw with the normies I don't know we've already got one but it's not exactly what I'm looking for right there matter of fact you know what what do you think Lazlo's gonna do oh you know he's gonna do you know now now just to remove this son of a gun out of here somehow Ah, yes. You'll look good on an 82 Land Cruiser. <laughs> uh, uh, It'll be fine. Twenty bucks. That's it for this 1995 Jeep Cherokee coolant reservoir that's going to go into an 82 Land Cruiser. Sorry, normies. Hood prop off a Forerunner, I think. And this is out of a uh, Pathfinder bag and the, the tools in there. I figure, why not? 
that was my day in the junkyard. I'm tired, my knees hurt, I'm sweating like a pig, I'm out.